Hey guys, Simon here, and welcome back to our architecture design school. So today, ah, the save file is called BobbleJazz Survival. Let's just load this up, and I'll read you what Minecraft Cinema, that's his YouTube handle. I'll show you what he said to me. Oh, look at all this. Um, I'm going to avoid enemies, and just go Game Mode 1, and go to Creative, just so I don't you know, get ambushed and things. Oh, cows. Okay, so what does he say? He says, Dear Simon, I was wondering if you can give me some feedback on my survival world. I started using arch Asian architecture for the first time. As this is survival, I am limited to s scale of the buildings, but also I need help with the scale. For example, a bridge I have seems not to scale with the player. Maybe in the video you can help us early designers out with that as it is hard building relatively small scale structures out of big blocks. I think one block is equal to one meter. Yeah, it is. He says, I'm 14 and want to be an architect someday. Thanks for reading. Okay, so... Hmm, what does he say? He's, it's survival. He's thinking about Asian architecture. And uh, he's got problems with the scale of the buildings, in the sense that the blocks are too big and it's difficult to do details. Cool stairs. Uh, let's just try and find all of his things. We've got fences around here. Not entirely creeper-proof, but uh, we'll deal with that. Or we'll kind of just ignore that. Where should I go first? In fact, where's the spawn? I mean, just from a an urban planning point of view. I guess the first thing you want to do is to show people what the important things are. I mean, I see a path up there. I see a building there. And I saw a doorway there. And I don't see any other buildings here. So, you know, as, as somebody spawns in, you might want to think about what they see first, what's important, and, you know, maybe some sort of guidance on where to go. Although, having said that, I mean, my own world doesn't have much guidance. I mean, there's the there's the uh, the courtyard, but then beyond that, I don't really have any roads or signage or anything. So, I mean, if you want, if you're not planning for other people to play this map, it's not really that important. It's just that you know, it's difficult to for a new player to see what's going on. Okay, so I see. So there's the bridge. I think I think that's the bridge he was talking about. So he's thinking about Asian architecture. Yeah, so the staircase is obviously, we have a problem here. Like there's not enough space to put in the detail. Although at the same time, staircases are usually more than one meter wide. In fact, yeah, like here, he runs to a problem of not having enough space for the stairs. And again, that's a common problem. If you've watched earlier videos in this series, you'll hear me talk about how Staircases often take more room than you expect, and so, yeah, like if you put in the stairs after you've built the rest of the thing, there's a very good chance that you'll just run out of space and not be able to fit anything in. Okay, so, yeah, we, we can see what he's talking about already. So this is the bridge. He says, the bridge seems out of scale with the player. I mean, it's a nice little bridge. I don't know what exactly he was thinking about, though. And you know, when people talk about the size of the blocks and all that, obviously, if that's meant to be an arch, you know, at that size, it doesn't really look much like an arch. It looks like a stack of rectangles, right? And that's that's Minecraft. I mean, you know, we've, we play Minecraft enough to know that this is the kind of problem you'll run into. I mean, he says that you know, he's he's playing survival, so he's saying that the scale of his builds are limited because of survival. Obviously, you don't have infinite blocks, and uh, you know you have to you know you have limited resources. Are there there are torches leading this way? Does that mean that no? There's nothing out here. It's just a little bit of light. I think there's a mine there, maybe. So let's come back. So that looks. Uh, he's talking about Asian architecture. That's actually kind of interesting. You know, roofs and the shapes of it. Um, I'm pretty sure he's looked at pictures. Like if you just go into 
you know, Google image search and just look for Asian architecture, then you'll get plenty of pictures to look at and then you can just use the pictures as references to build your own things. So research is important in design. I mean, nobody, you know, you usually don't expect anyone to come up with an idea out of nothing. Most designers, in fact, almost all designers, will take existing ideas and modify them. I mean, let's put some details in here as well. That looks pretty good. Like using the fence gates to to make these beams and, and and columns and things. So he's done pretty well. All right, let's just check the other building. I don't know if I have any advice for Minecraft Cinema because. He seems to be doing quite well, although this cliff maybe could use a bit of cleaning up. That, that's, that's not too difficult, I mean, you don't need me to say that. Is this his house? I think this is his actual house. Okay, I see. So he's built a cave in the side of the cliff, and this is where his bed is. That's nice. I think this is an earlier build, just thinking about what he said in the in the message, he started building Asian architecture. So this might be earlier stuff. Like there's less planning here it seems like. Oh but there's it. It seems like this has less planning and, and it's more just, you know, building a fence around a mountain to make it look pretty. I'm sure there's not enough enough light here to stop enemies from spawning. Actually what difficulty am I playing on? Normal. I'm pretty sure enemies are going to spawn here. Anyway, that's not important. So he hasn't built very much yet. He's built a few things down here. Let me just fly a little bit. Hmm, so there's a river, there's a little bit of a, a valley here, and he's built things in the valley. Okay, so a, a nice little assemblage so far. Nothing that remarkable. Well... Hmm. You know, blocks in Minecraft is just the, you know, that's just the reality of Minecraft. You can't avoid blocks in Minecraft. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Everything is blocks. So, you know, saying that it's hard to build small-scale structures out of big blocks, yeah, yeah, it is. And there's actually no solution to that in Minecraft because you can't avoid it. It's like, you know, gravity. You can't have buildings that float in the air because of gravity, right? I mean, you can try to come up with clever tricks to make buildings look like they're lighter than they actually are, and a lot of architects actually do that. But, um, you know, ultimately, if you build a house, you can't avoid gravity in the real world. And so, in Minecraft, you know, there's a similar similar thing with blocks. Like if you have any structure in Minecraft, you can't avoid the fact that it's gonna be blocks. Well, hmm. The only thing I would say, or the only suggestion that I can make, is build bigger. You know, work at a bigger scale. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that this staircase is a bit awkward. Oh, I'm in creative, okay. Like, you don't need to, me to tell you that this staircase is awkward. I think you know that, right? Like, you don't need me to point that out. And the only answer I can think of is to build bigger. Because you simply cannot fit a staircase like that in a space like this. It's just not big enough. And look, spiders. And uh, as for bridges, you know, he said in the message, what did he say? He said, um, for example, a bridge I have seems not to scare with the player. And the answer I have is, build bigger. Like, this bridge is simply too small for you to have a good looking arch. And there's really no way around it. Um, I think you're playing on normal sized biomes. I personally favor large biomes. Just because, you know, the scale of the biomes themselves are too small in my mind for serious architecture. 
Like the, the, the biomes are just not big enough. Like the rivers are not, the river is not wide enough for you to build a good bridge over it. You know what I mean? And that's, yeah, that's something you can't avoid, unfortunately. And as for materials and things, yeah, I mean, it just, it's not like you can't build bigger. It just means you have to spend more time gathering materials. You know, and, and it takes more time to build. You can still do it, but it just means it takes more time. So what else does he ask? Yeah, I mean... I mean, what else can we do? We can't. Like, we can't make the blocks in Minecraft any smaller. I mean, you've already used the half slabs and the staircases and the fences. Like, you're already using all the tricks you have available to you. And you still can't build something good at this scale. I mean, what if you make it twice as big in each direction? Would that be too difficult to build? I don't think so. I think you can s manage that. I mean, however long it took you to build this, times that by 8, and then you'll have, you know, something that's twice the size, twice this size in each direction, twice as tall, twice as long, twice as wide, and it would look more impressive, and the stairs can work, because you can actually fit stairs in then. And, you know, actually, real-world buildings are about that size. Like, this is too small for a real-world temple. And if, if this is a, I don't know if this is a temple or a pagoda or whatever it is. Like, if you think of a Buddhist temple, at the very least, they have the main temple with a giant statue of Buddha inside. And, but usually it's a whole complex. You have the main temple, and then a courtyard, and then side buildings, and then maybe an inner courtyard behind it, and then more interior buildings where the monks are sitting asleep, and where the kitchen is, all, and all that. So there's an outer courtyard, inner courtyard, main temple, and a lot of side areas. So, you know, a real-life Buddhist temple would be much, much bigger than this. So it's not like you're being unrealistic. Like, building something this small is... is maybe unrealistic. You know, because of the real-world architecture is actually much bigger than this. So... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, are you willing to do that? Again, it, it's, it's something you have to invest time in. And if you don't have the time, then you know, then you can't really do it. And there's no... Yeah, I don't have any easy answers, unfortunately. It's, that's quite good. I mean... That looks pretty good, right? But, you know, I mean, you already told me what the problems are, and I don't have... Like, there's... I don't think there's any other answers except to build bigger. Like the bridge, you can't... Yeah, I mean, I've said that already, so I won't repeat myself too much. Um... Hmm, I don't actually have anything else to say for this. It's not really a very good lesson, is it? I didn't really say very much. Maybe you wanna... yeah, so going back to an earlier point, we started there. I guess this is like the courtyard, or this is like the the central open space. This is a little bit cramped. I don't know if you've actually... well, I mean, you're playing survival, so maybe you haven't come up here. Maybe you've been up here before? Usually you'd want to find a, a more open area, with more flat ground to start building. Because actually, I don't know what your future plans are. You've got a bridge there. Like, which way would you want to expand? There's more rivers that way. You might want to. There's an opportunity to build something there, I guess, on the hill, surrounded by rivers. That's interesting. Usually, uh, something like that would be like a fortress or like a, a castle, surrounded by a natural river, so it's you know defensible. There's a desert there. I don't know if you feel like building in the desert. The good thing about desert is that they're usually flat and open. And so it's not, you know, it's quite easy to just lay out a town in a desert. You don't have to, you know, deal with mountains. 
mountains are of course you know difficult to work with because you know you have to build go up and down and all that it's more complicated than just a flat piece of ground right there's a lot of jungle that way oh no that's not jungle that's just uh, forest is there a jungle no there's no jungle here there's a forest there and then a mountain there this world is actually quite interesting if you look around there there's a couple of interesting biomes close by yeah if it were me I would maybe m go that way I don't know because it's you know there's flat open areas to build on and maybe work on the mountain oh look there's a jungle beyond the desert but uh, if we just kind of take the time to look at this like this desert I mean in the scale of Minecraft, where the highest mountain is, is only about that big, you know, it, it seems like the scale is right. You know, it looks like a, you know, there's a big stuff flying. But look, there's a big desert. Look, there's a mountain there. There's a uh, jungle there. But you know, it's it's too small. Everything is too small. I don't know how often you fly in the plane. Like if you if you go in on a plane as you're taking off and as you're landing, you look out the window. Like the Earth is huge. Like you know you have vast areas. Usually in the, around cities there'll be farms mostly, I guess. Maybe oceans and beaches. Like they're huge and it's flat. It's flat as anything. And you know mountains like this don't actually exist. What well, they they exist? They're actually very rare in the real world. You know, if you fly up in in a plane, you'll see that the Earth is actually very, very, very flat. And what we think are mountains are, in fact, you know, very, very gradual slopes upwards. Usually, like steep cliffs like this are quite unusual in the grand scheme of things. And jungles, like, look how big that tree is. So everything in Minecraft is out of scale, and that's why I like the large biomes a lot more because it's slightly more realistic. And you know, real realism isn't necessary for a game, of course. I mean, you don't have to have realism to have fun. But in this case, if we're trying to build things, realism is is more useful. Oh, that's the rain. It's more useful because you know, if you want to try and build a building, for example, and you put it in a small biome like this, like everything's out of scale. Like here. A moderately sized city would take up the entire desert, and that doesn't actually make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, the scale is 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 a problem in Minecraft, and it's something that you have to figure out. And you know, there's no easy answer except to build bigger and to use large biomes, in my opinion. You know, like a farm, where you have a little bit of wheat and we call it a farm, but if you look at a farm in the real world, again, it's huge. You have acres and acres and acres of wheat, right? It's just a, uh, yeah. I mean, everything in Minecraft is like a, a toy. You know, it, it's a toy world, it's not a real world. Everything is small, everything is out of scale, it's like a cartoon. Unfortunately, when you try to make serious architecture, this cartoon is not enough. Okay, I really can't think of anything else to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I understand you're playing survival, I play survival. And you see the scale that I build at. But then you also see how long, how long it takes for me to build all the, any of things, any of the things that I do build. So, I don't know, I guess everyone has to choose for themselves how they want to play Minecraft. Either you make small things that are all blocky and not very realistic, or doesn't look very good, but then it's manageable. Or you go epic and you just, you just build huge things. And it takes you weeks and weeks to, to finish a, a build, but it's very impressive and it's at a scale where you can make 
a lot of shapes work. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'd like to hear people's opinions on this. Uh, well, maybe just if you can leave a comment saying how you play Minecraft. Do you build small and manageable? Or do you go for the big projects? Or do you do a bit of both? I've, I do a bit of both sometimes. Hmm. Alright, I think I'll end it there. I can't think of anything else to say. And I, I'm... You know, I'm I'm sorry if I don't have any easy answers to your your problems, your questions. But unfortunately, that's how this particular problem is. It's it's you know unless you change Minecraft itself, you you can't change the fact that everything is giant blocks. All right, I'll see you guys next time. This is SCK Chui's Minecraft Design School. You send me your questions and your save file or your server IP address and I will give you architecture design advice and feedback. See the video description for more details. Seriously, you should read the description before you send me anything. Thank you.